Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, today we're going to be cooking up some chicken and broccoli rice. Super delicious, you guys. So let's get off into it. Okay guys, we're going to be using some chicken thighs and legs. These were leg quarters that I cut up. I also cleaned our chicken with lime juice and vinegar. And now we're getting ready to season our chicken legs and thighs. First, we're going to pat our chicken dry. Because we want all the season to stick to our chicken. Okay. And we're going to pat it dry on each side. You guys, now we we didn't clean and washed our chicken. Now we also didn't pat them dry. Now we're about to season our chicken on both sides. And what I'm using is um, Creole seasoning. I'm going to be using some onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper and some paprika. And we're going to be seasoning on both sides. Just like that, you guys. This is a very easy and simple recipe. Okay, we got one side seasoned. Now we're about to flip over and season the other side with the same season. We're using grill seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and paprika. chicken has all been seasoned front and back okay now we're about to sear our chicken in our pan okay you guys I'm using extra virgin I'm using a tablespoon and we about to start searing our chicken we're gonna go skin down first our pan we're going to be searing our chicken on each side about five minutes, five to six minutes to get that char on them. Okay. Okay, you guys, we have our chicken in our pan. We went skin down first. We're going to be searing our chicken for about five minutes until they get that sear on them. And we'll flip it over, do another five minutes on the other side. We're just going to let it do its thing. I'm going to mess with it. Okay. And this I they look once finished. And you flip it over. That's what we're looking for right there. Okay. And we're going to let it do its thing on the other side. Okay. Now our first set of chicken is finished. We're going to take it out and put it on our pan. We are going to refinish this in the oven. Now we're about to put in our legs and we're going to do the same thing. Okay, you guys, now we're laying our legs down and we're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to sear our chicken legs on one side for five minutes to get that sear and we're going to flip it over and do the same. Okay, you guys, our chicken is now about to go into the oven. Okay, you guys, now we're about to start chopping up our 
Ray Bell Pepper to get ready to saute down our veggies, our red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and some onions in our pan. So we're going to cut our peppers up really good. Okay, so we're just going to give this a little rough chop, just like that. Okay, we finished chopping up our red bell pepper. Now we're about to start off with two tablespoons of butter in our pan. Once our butter melts, we're going to be adding us some onions and our bell peppers that we chopped up. I chopped up my green and, and onions earlier. So we're going to be adding that to our pan. Just like that. And we're going to be sauteing this until it gets softened. Okay. And I'll show you guys the next step. Now we're about to add our red bell peppers to the mix. Okay. And we're going to cook this for a few minutes and until they get a little softened. And we're also going to add some minced garlic in here. Okay. And we add us a tablespoon of minced garlic. Yeah. And we're going to cook this for an additional three to four minutes. Hey you guys, now we're about to add our rice to the mix. And I'm going to be using like a cup and a half of rice. Okay. This is a very, very easy recipe and it's super delicious. I love chicken and rice. I love it, it's so delicious. Hey you guys, now that we add our rice to the mix, we're going to mix our rice up with all our chopped up onions and bell peppers. And we're going to toast our rice for a few minutes before we add our chicken broth in here. So yes, we're just going to toast it for a few minutes. Get everything all combined together. Just like that. Okay, you guys. Now we're about to add our chicken broth in here. I'm using reduced sodium chicken broth. Okay, and I'm using about a cup and a half in here. Okay. It's smelling good in here, you guys. Yes. Like I said earlier, this is a very simple but yet delicious recipe. I love rice and chicken. Yes. So after this, you guys, we're going to season in this with some krill seasoned garlic powder, onion powder. Okay. Okay, you guys, now we season it with our krill seasoning. Some garlic powder, onion powder, some black pepper in here. Okay. Sprinkling a little dry parsley in here also. Okay, now we're going to mix everything up. 
stir everything up together. Okay. Okay, you guys, we're going to cover it up and let it cook for a few minutes before we add our broccoli. Okay, now we add our broccoli to the mix. Yes, it's going to be delicious. Yes, and I am using frozen broccoli. Okay, you guys, now that we add our broccoli to the mix, we're going to stir that broccoli all in with our rice and chicken broth and our chopped up onions and bell peppers. Just mix everything up. We're going to cover this and let it cook for like 10 minutes before we add our chicken. Okay, now we're about to add the chicken to the mix. Yes. Just like that. And once we add all our chicken to this, we're going to be cooking this for additional 15 minutes. 15 to 20 more minutes. And this is going to be done. Yes, super easy and super quick meal. And delicious, you guys. Hey, you guys, all our chicken is in. We're going to put a little sprinkle, a little dry parsley on top. And we're going to let this, we're going to cover this and let this cook for additional 10 to 20 minutes. And we'll be ready to eat. Yes. Okay, you guys. Our chicken and broccoli rice are done. Yes. And I cannot wait to dig in and plate this up. Okay, you guys. I'm going in. Look at this. Chicken and rice. Yes. Smells so good. You guys, I taste chicken with super tender and delicious rice on part. You guys have to try this recipe. You guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so so you'll never miss another delicious recipe. I see you guys next time with another delicious recipe. Bye-bye.